So I've got a crazy story for you guys. So get this, biggest soccer tournament of the fucking year. We're talking the magnum opus of soccer. It is the drunkest, it's the most epic, amazing soccer tournament. It's in Kamloops, BC. It's a eight hour, six hour road trip. It's far away, it's really hot. It's like 30, 35 degrees there all the time. It's crazy. This is the soccer tournament you dream of for years. This is the soccer tournament you look forward to for months. So get this, I'm going to this tournament and this is where it gets better. I'm not only going to it, I'm gonna go play in it, but I'm going with a whole bunch of my friends. Like, I'm going with a bunch of my soccer friends, I'm going with people on my soccer team, super excited about that. I'm gonna go play this high level competitive drinking tournament with these guys from my team, but then on top of that, I also got two of my buddies coming with me. I got my buddy Justin coming with me, I got Richard coming with me. They don't play soccer, they're coming for the road trip, they're coming to hang out, they're coming to have a good time. It is literally stacked up to be the best tournament ever. And you know what happens? Everything bad that could ever possibly happen, happens. That is exactly what happens. So check this. On the Wednesday, on the Wednesday before the Friday, the Friday is the day that we're going, on the Wednesday before the Friday, on the Wednesday, I end up having to go to the emergency walk-in clinic. And yeah, I ended up stress fracturing my third metatarsal. And for those of you who don't know, tarsal means foot, carpal means hand. Tarsal meaning that I have fractured the foot in my bone, the bone in my foot, I fractured it right before the biggest soccer tournament of the year. So naturally, I'm devastated, but I'm carpooling, I got all these guys coming with me, we're all, we got the room arrangements, we've even got plans on splitting booze, like we, we've got like a quota, we like calculated it, we're like, okay, we, we got like four guys, we need like 120 beers, like, let's do this, like, it's that kind of tournament. We got it all planned out. So all of a sudden, I can't play, I'm out for six weeks, so I'm like, you know what? No, we're still gonna go. We're still gonna go to Kamloops, except there's a problem. I can't drive my car with a giant fucking air cast boot thing that's like 10 pounds. Like I could like just stomp gophers with this thing, man. My car is a manual. I can't drive it with this air cast. So I gotta get somebody else to drive my car or somebody else to bring a car. Well, it turns out it was hard enough trying to just find somebody else who had a car who could take us. So we were forced to use my car. So I had my buddy Justin drive my car. Wasn't a big deal, just knows how to drive manual standard. He has his own car that he drives, but his is a beater, so that's why it's not going to Kamloops. So, it all seemed good to go, and here's the thing, the trip was even to be more awesome, more awesome. I know you're thinking, you're like, David, how could this get more awesome? It gets more awesome because we had planned this trip out that we were gonna stop in different places along the way, like tourist attractions and stuff, because I also run, a, I, I help run and contribute to a website that catalogs uh, places in and around Calgary and stuff like that, like photos and stories and information. So the plan was that we were gonna stop at all these big tourist destinations along the way. And we were gonna take photos and videos and, and do a piece so that I'd have all this content that I could use to create uh, pages about these destinations and stuff on the way to Kamloops. So it was gonna be work and pleasure and then at the same time we also get to be like tourists, like right proper tourists. And then on top of that, I had another project plan which was going to be a, uh, um, a video uh, about the whole Kamloops experience. I was planning on making this, uh, editing clips together of like the Kamloops soccer tournament experience, like having us be in the car and everything, and just, and then at the tournament and just uh, like a promotional kind of clip together short video so that everybody who watches it would be like, oh my God, this tournament's awesome. Like that's what I wanted to do. But then of course, as soon as this air cache happens, you know, that, that plan is already on its way out the door. And for us to do all this, these stops, all these tourist destinations, we were gonna have to leave really early in the morning. We were planning to leave at like seven in the morning, right? But Joe, one of the guys who's coming with us on the trip, he messages me, he's like, no bro, I can't leave till like 10 a.m. I'm like, why? He told me, it's family stuff. And he never would tell me, like, he, like to this day, he has still not told me. So I'm only assuming that one of his relatives like pulled a serious black and like fell through the curtain into like the Dementor land. Like I don't I don't know what happened. So we couldn't leave until 10 a.m. And so you know what that meant? That meant with an eight hour trip, 
and we can't leave till 10 a.m. Well, we don't have time to do all the tourist destination stuff, right? Like, we're gonna get into town by like five or six anyways if we're leaving at 10, so we don't even have time to stop places. So I was like, fuck it, whatever. That's out the window. Not a big deal. We, we were gonna move past it, <clears throat> but it was destined to happen another way. So, the day of, it's 10 a.m., we roll up at Joe's house, Richard's in the car, Justin's in the car, Ricardo's in the car, we're ready to go, we just need Joe, and Joe comes stumbling out of his house. Joe is literally almost drunk already, he had been, he had, I think he had smoked some weed, he had been drinking, um, and he had this, this big tall water bottle, and he told us that he mixed it with Jack and Coke. But upon smelling and tasting it, I could confirm that this was mostly Jack Daniels.